Hi, this is Shane Willis from AStrongPurpose.com. I'm going to take you back to that course I was teaching on loans, and now we're going to talk about how they were structured. And I'm going to bring up the one loan that got a lot of bad press during the bust, why it was created, and why it got a bad name. Stay tuned. <laughs> Okay, so now that we've gone over documentation, let's discuss loan structuring, how those got done. In order to do that, we have to have a quick premise. Does everybody know what DTI stands for? Well, we're shooting a video, so I know there are a couple of you there saying you don't. Let's go over DTI, or debt to income ratio, which is something that is used in the industry quite often. Your debt to income ratio is something that's even used today. All right, in order to find your debt to income ratio, you take your gross revenue or gross income, not net, not what you bring home in your check, but your gross before taxes. Then you add up all your bills. So everything, everything that you have to pay. All right, this is debt though. It's not bills like utilities or food which some of us spend a little bit more on food. <laughs> this is just debt, so your car payments, your house payments, your credit cards, your student loans, stuff of that nature, is considered debt. That's what we're adding up. We're adding up all those payments. Now, if you have a credit card that has a zero balance, today's marketplace is probably going to count a minimum payment against you anyways. I know that if you have a home equity line, on a property like a second lien, they're gonna count that against you anyways like you owe it to the max. So if you have a $100,000 home equity line, but you don't owe anything on it, they're actually gonna max it out and count the terms against you, okay? So once you get all your bills added up, you get that net number, divide it by your gross income. This equals your debt to income ratio. Okay? Questions on that? No? Okay. Debt to income ratio is extremely important in the way we structure loans. Well, let's go back to the heyday. Today, well, let me back up to today. Today, your debt to income ratio for most of your governmental loans are going to range somewhere between 38 and 45%, which means you can owe about 45% of your gross revenue, okay? In the heyday, I've seen this as high as 60%. 60%. Now you're starting to get really, really dangerous here if you're at 60%, because remember this is gross. So we got taxes that are gonna come out of this first for most employees. Then you're gonna have 60% in your bills and we're not counting paying the utilities or eating. And I'm one of those strange people that likes food with my meal. So <laughs> this is something that got a little scary. Now it's a lot more realistic, 38 to 45. Most still stop at 42%. So that's your debt to income ratio. All right, and why is that so important? Well, that's one of the ways we structure loans.